go down sites is is like one of uh, definitely our, our biggest sites. I I run it together with my wife. I have a wife and and a kid, a three year old, and so my wife got the idea about it because she was studying architecture, and she was designing uh, the interior on a boat. And of course, that's a small cramped space where you need a lot of functions there. So she got interested in the whole tiny house movement and how to build super tiny spaces very early on, maybe 2012 or 11 or something like that. So she was very interested in that and she, she started a YouTube channel and then it quickly caught on and quickly got the first 10, 20, 30,000 um, subscribers. And then I thought, hmm, maybe I should build a site around this. So I just started building the blog alongside and I could send some traffic, you know, to, to the blog. So yeah, so that, that's still our main site and also of the site that I'm actively building a lot of content for with my my team of writers. Cool. So can you give us a little uh, like info on the traffic and like the growth trajectory and like just a little sure. bit more details? I think until November last year, so something like 14 months ago, I wrote everything myself. And then some of these articles were super, super old. So I reached a point in December 13 months ago, where I just deleted a whole bunch of content because it was just crap and it was super short content. I could see in analytics, it maybe got like five or 10 visits per day. So uh, per month, I think. So so I started hiring some writers and that was the first time I outsourced content. So so that's where I really started to, to go hard in on it. And at that time I made some major mistakes. I updated a ton of links and it got de-indexed and I just did some some stuff. And the thing was that I was primarily working on client stuff at the time. So I did a lot of changes and did a look at it. And then after a couple of months, it was sort of out of the search results for, for a little while. So then I figured I should probably give it some good attention. And so, so yeah, so long story short, today it's, I just looked up the numbers. It's, it's a little over 200,000 page views per month. And, and it's primarily at, um, monetized with ads and also a bit of affiliate. Okay. And in the beginning, it was it was mostly like your your wife was interested in the tiny house movement and downsizing yeah. in general. Yeah, and then we just started writing about you know furniture and everything related to smaller spaces and see whatever deals we could get and yeah stuff okay. like that. And is she sort of the the YouTube expert and you're the content blog uh, expert? Yeah. yeah. She's definitely the face and, and the brain behind the YouTube channel. Yeah. Cool. I also pop up from uh, once in a while, but but I'm, I'm not the, the main actor. <laughs> okay. okay, gotcha. And I guess fr from that standpoint, can you tell us about how you selected uh, like the topics to write, write on and then, you know, maybe how your wife was choosing YouTube video topics as well? Yeah, so so for the, for the YouTube channel, I think she didn't give much thought to anything such as keyword research and stuff like that. She, I think she stumbled upon a few pretty cool tiny houses that we did some home tours home tours on. So we would go in and, and do like a thirty minute a very long video for us at the time uh, video, and and of course those did very well because people tend to binge these home tours. People like to see how you pop out things off the wall, and it's it's very visual and. So, so one of those videos popped to 100,000 page views and just like, or yeah, views on YouTube and it was like, wow, this could be taken somewhere, you know? And so we went to, to the States at a tiny house fair, a tiny house festival and, and just filmed like 20 tiny houses, just went door to door, you know, before they opened and asked everybody if we could film everything there. So we did that a couple of times. So we would have like content to space out over a couple of months. And then it just really started to take off from there. Holy cow. That's, that's amazing. So you went to basically a conference or what did you call it? It's like a festival or something. Yeah. I think they call it a tiny house festival. It was somewhere in, in, in Florida. Okay. The north of, yeah. So there was just like a concentration of like awesome yeah. content and you just yeah, walked actually, through with a camera. Actually we, we were in the area visiting some friends and then we just, I think accidentally, uh, we, we just saw this festival as like two hours drive north and then we just went there and i we could immediately see there was this was just mecca for us you know we just had to turn on the camera and get there super early and leave super late for the last couple of days and yeah <laughs> so we just burned ourselves out completely over 48 hours and shut everything we could <laughs> okay and i may have to um i'll have to get you to in introduce me to your wife maybe i need to talk to her too but sure absolutely like the 
video and editing and creating a video that's interesting to people, it's really hard to do and, and to yeah. keep them, you know, captured. So like h- how long had your wife been doing videos at the point where you, you went to that uh, festival? Maybe a year, something like that, I think. We have traveled a lot also because we both work online. So so everywhere we go, we do always try to find a few tiny spaces, apartments or tiny houses, you know, anything we can film also to sort of, yeah, do the travel on, on the company sure. bills. Yeah. So, so we did that a couple of times and we had an idea that this would be great. So as soon as we saw the festival, we just, yeah, had, had to go there. Okay, yeah. cool. Because I, like I said, I know just the skill to you know, create the videos to film it, to do all the stuff, both from like a technical standpoint and for the actual content to be interesting yeah, and, you know, just get it done. It's, it's very difficult, very difficult. So, um, you guys had a few, at least a couple years probably of just like filming, doing videos, doing editing and all that stuff. Right. Yeah. And we had some friends show us how to get like a good camera and also get like a wide angle lens because when you're filming inside a super tiny space, you know, it's very hard not to be upfront in everything, you know, you need that bigger angle. So getting these things right and get a good boom mic that, because sometimes we would, we would shoot outside and to get to the house and talk outside and it'd just be, you know, sound like, like mm-hmm. a stormy weather and. Oh, yeah. Yes, but but she's. I think she's very skilled in in, in that department, and I yeah, she, she she's doing a, a good job there. I think, but, awesome. but she she's using an, an external editor. But actually, she's she hasn't been uploading any videos for almost a year because we have a toddler now, and it is just a different game. So she's mainly focusing on him, and I'm I'm running the business side of things right now. Very cool. 